Hi, I'm Nina McVeigh. And I'm Haley Grish. And today we're going to be inserting a zipper in cork fabric. Um, cork is great to sew on, but one of the things I love about it is it doesn't fray. So to insert a zipper, I can simply cut a window and put my zipper behind the window and stitch it in place. And no raw edges to have to finish. Exactly. Uh, because I like a little extra, not just cutting the window, I've actually cut another piece of cork uh, to lay on top of that. So you can see with the piece I'm working on that I've cut my window and I've cut my cork um, trim that same size. So those two windows are the same. Now when you cut a window like that, um, it's kind of precision cutting and I do like to use a rotary cutter. So I do use that nice small little rotary cutter that everybody thinks there's no use yeah, for. What, with, you, what with, can you possibly <laughs> cut with 18 millimeters? Uh, but it is, it, it just has more, um, it's like using a, a small pencil, you just yeah. can get in there easier. And then because it is a smaller rotary cutter, you want to use a little bit narrower ruler. So I like Why to use that? this. Well, actually on a regular thickness of rotary ruler, you're not going to get, it, it, this is not big enough. Oh, gotcha. So you need that narrow, gotcha. thinner ruler. Um, you'll notice that I do mark on the back of my cork piece. I've got some chalk lines where I've marked my two lines that I'm cutting on this way and then this way. So I like to think of it as 3 eighths of an inch for my trim, 3 eighths of an inch opening, and another 3 eighths for my trim on the other side. Of course, you can do that any width you want. That's just what I use. But I do find the 3 eighths inch opening is a good size for a zipper. Yeah, for these smaller uh, nylon. polyester mm -hmm. nylon zippers, that's great. You might want a bigger one on a, a bulkier oh. metal zipper. Right. And then instead of pins, I use glue stick. So I'm going to put a little glue on that cork fabric on the back side of my trim. And I'm going to glue that to the surface of my cork so I don't have to worry about those and I can treat this as one piece. Okay. And then before I put the zipper behind there, I have measured what length I need. I always buy a zipper longer than what I need and I've marked about how much I need in that window. So what I'm going to do just to make it easier for zipper insertion is open this up and I'm going to hold these two edges together and just do a zigzag stitch down here to hold the zipper tape together. I like to do that with the number 20 foot. This is our 20 D foot. And I've got my zigzag set up at a, about a seven millimeter width and a very tight zigzag. And even though I'm doing this with green thread on a red zipper, you're never going to see it. It's just held those ends together so that when I go to insert this, I'm not struggling to keep them together. And moving this zipper tab down is really important. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you maybe haven't done that one yeah, time. Yeah, I've made that mistake before. <laughs> the mistake would be not putting it in the window, because then if you put it in, you have no tab to right. open the zipper with. So I'm now going to turn this over and I will put some glue on my zipper tape, a nice row all the way down. And put this right in that window. Now the glue doesn't hold real quickly so that if it isn't right, I can come to the front side and make sure that I've got that. Yeah, the nice thing about those Centered. glue sticks is that they're adjustable and any color from the glue, like these sew line pens, it's blue, but that's going to dry It will clear. disappear. Yeah. yeah. So now that I've got my zipper in there, I'm actually going to close it so I can see that I've got it, if I need to adjust 
I want to make sure it's straight. And you'll notice that I've got the bottom tab right here um, at the bottom of that window. So I'm going to take this over to the machine. I have actually replaced my foot with the Bernina non-stick zipper foot. And when I put this type of foot on my machine, I need to make sure I move that needle position over so as not to break a needle. And I want to start, um, and this of course is totally up to you, but I like to start down at the bottom end of my zipper. And I'm going to lower my foot, let it hover a little bit so I can get it positioned exactly where I want it, and then lower it down on my fabric. And again, this is a somewhat of a decorative zipper, so I like to lengthen that straight stitch so you can really see the stitch. Now, as I approach the end of the zipper where my zipper tab is, I'm going to lift my foot to make sure I get this under it, and I'm going to move that out of the way. And of course, on the end, I'm going to stop and pivot. Sew across that zipper, which is why I use a nylon zipper. Yep. <laughs> and down the other side. And again, as I get to my zipper tab, I just like to get it out of the way so it doesn't bump my foot and give me a crooked stitch. And you can see the, the non-stick coating on that foot, there's no dragging, there's no catching anywhere along the, on that cork surface. Right. So now again, I will just come across. And I did start a little up, so I will have to make sure that those threads meet. At this point, instead of um, doing a back stitch, I like to pull my threads to the back and tie them off. It just is a little bit neater that yeah. way. And now I've got this window stitched and my zipper is all stitched in and it's a very functional zipper. <laughs> I can then go back and do a top stitch around the outside edge of my cork piece. That can be another straight stitch. It could be a decorative stitch at this point, whatever you want to do to enhance that, that window. On the back side, I'm going to now take my scissors and cut off that excess zipper tape. And again, a good reason to have a nylon zipper so yep. that you can <laughs> cut that off. So now as we hold up the bag again, you can see um, how simple that is how neat it is, how professional it looks with this type of zipper insertion in cork fabric. And it was easy. That's what I like. Very easy. <laughs> so for this and more fun techniques that you can do on your machine, visit your local Bernina dealer today.